What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports, back again with another one. YouTube sensation Jake Paul sells $1.3 million pay-per-views this past Saturday night on Triller, according to him. The question I'm going to ask everybody is, is Jake Paul the cash cow boxing? I know a lot of people going to say, wait a minute, JB Sports, he's not the cash cow boxing. That's Canelo Alvarez, or that's Anthony Joshua. The problem with that is, especially with... Canelo Alvarez is the zone don't release the numbers for their events. So we don't know what Canelo Alvarez is doing on the zone. We don't know how many buys he did with his last fight against Abney Yearman or the fight before that against uh, Callum Smith. We don't know that. The zone don't release their numbers. Now, Anthony Joshua's numbers get released on the matching side in the UK in his last fight when he defended his WBO title against the number one WBO mandatory fighter. That fight did uh, over a million pay-per-view buys in the UK. But Jake Paul did 1.3 million pay-per-view buys. I believe his numbers were slightly higher than Anthony Joshua was in the UK on Matchroom. I believe it was Sky Sports pay-per-view. We don't know what he did on The Zone. Again, The Zone don't reach, uh, release their numbers, so we don't know that. But the last time we heard that Canelo Alvarez did a million plus pay-per-view buys was against Triple G. First and second fight. Since then, he's moved over there to the zone. Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions linked him up with the zone and he signed a lucrative multi-fight deal that paid him in the excess of $365 million. Now that relationship between him and Golden Boy deteriorated and he left. Now he's uh, pretty much a free agent and he's working with the zone on a fight by fight basic. Same deal that, well, same non deal that Anthony Joshua has with the zone. Is he fights on a fight on a fight by fight basic. He doesn't have a contract with the zone. He has a contract with Matchroom Boxing. People people don't fail to realize that, especially when they talk about Deontay Wilder turning down 120 million dollars to face Anthony Joshua on the zone when Anthony Joshua not even signed to the zone. But that's neither here nor there. Let's stick with Jake Paul. Now, as far as the card go, the card was very entertaining. They had Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, uh, I remember when he was a little kid, man, he's getting older. You know, he actually looked like a grown man up there, you know, that kind of threw me off. I was like, oh, Justin Bieber, <clears throat> he had the cap on and everything. He did a solid performance. You know, you can tell he's uh, growing up. He did a solid performance. Uh, Stoop Dog Dog had some genius takes. He was makes Triller, man. The guy's coming up with some genius takes, the way he uh, says his, th says his uh, analysis on boxing. The way he uses his word word phrases, he did a great job. Great job. Now, as far as the card goes, Jake Paul knocked the guy out, man. The guy he fought, Ben Askren, you know, in the, a guy that was a former MMA fighter, formerly worked with UFC, and I think he worked with maybe some other guy, other p uh, platforms on uh, UFC too, maybe Bellator or some other things. But he, he definitely is a UFC fighter. But he came into the fight grossly out of shape, you know, grossly out of shape. He didn't come, he didn't, he didn't do the, all the training that he needed to do to get himself in shape. And he got caught with a shot, man. He was badly hurt. Referee quickly waved the fight off. And that's a guy that's not known as a great UFC fighter. From what I re uh, reckon, I never heard him. He ain't never crossed over in the UFC like uh, Conor McGregor did or Ronda Rousey or John Jones or uh, Khabib or even the guy that's doing knocking people out now, Nagam Nagamamu. He hadn't crossed over there, so he wasn't elite in the UFC. So he beat a guy that was probably an average UFC fighter at best. And he did what he put us to do with knock the guy out. But that's a good thing for him because, again, it was his third fight. So you got to give credit what credit's due. Now, if he's going to fight another UFC fight in his fourth fight, hopefully he'll fight a guy that's better than Ben Askren. Maybe fight a, uh, a Woodley, a guy like that. Maybe fight him, a Woodley, a guy that was, uh, you know, above average UFC fighter. A guy that was at least a B, B-plus level UFC fighter. The guy he fight, Ben Askren, was probably a C-minus UFC fighter at best. So he beat him, took care of business with him, and a uh, good win for him. You know, some people might say, oh, you you, you downgrade. Ben Askren was one of the top fighters in the UFC. Well, he might have been. I don't follow UFC that closely, especially when it first came to uh, fame, came to prominence. I didn't really follow it. But I do remember the people that was uh, big names back then. He wasn't one of them. So maybe he's C-. minus. Maybe I'm downgrading him a little bit. Maybe C+. Plus, but he definitely wasn't an upper-tier UFC fighter. Because if he was, I would have heard of him. So, um... Jake Paul did what he's supposed to do, and uh, he's doing better numbers than any other top boxers. Look at uh, Errol Smith Jr., who was one of my top fighters in the game, in my top four pound for pound. I got him number three, actually, up behind Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez. His highest pay-per-view was 
around 360,000 when he fought Mikey Garcia at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. That was his highest pay-per-view uh, card. Now, Canelo Alvarez has done similar numbers to Jake Paul, but that's been two or three years ago with Triple G. Now, we, like I said, the numbers haven't been released with the zone, so we don't know. We're just going to go about what we, the numbers that we know. And he hasn't done those numbers in two or three years, you know, when he fought Triple G twice. Now, let's look at Terrence Bud Crawford, who I got number one on my pound for pound list. His highest pay-per-view was 150000 against Amir Khan. And that fight did disappointing numbers. Bob Arum is on record saying that he lost money on that fight. So when you look at the numbers, you got to believe and you got to understand and in the, in the facts bear this out is that Jake Paul is the cash cow of boxing. And I'm a boxing purist. I love boxing, but I'm, I, you know, I, but I, I speak facts. I'm not going to play favorites. I don't be like, oh, it's a circus. No, I think what Terrence Bud Crawford said, it's a circus. Well, if it's a circus, you top fighters need to get your, uh, put a red nose on and put some uh, yellow hair wig on, on your head and put some makeup on, white makeup on, and uh, put on some big, big boots, big boots, and uh, and go around there and get on a tightrope and try to uh, walk a tightrope and uh, try to get these, and uh, try to uh, do the circus thing, man, because if that's a circus, man, you want to be a part of that type of circus. Ringling Bullers and Barman Bailey's uh, brothers, the circus, you need to join that circus if it is a circus. That's what Terry's Brother Crawford said. But you got to understand that uh, it's all about making money. It's all about making entertainment. Because if you say, say you go to that fight and you watch uh, Regis Pro Graves against Ivan Redcast, them were the only real boxers on that card. And Ivan Redcast quit. He waved the white flag. You know, don't make no mistake about it. You know, he's saying he got hurt and he got carried out on the stretch. He got hit low. His wife was in the ring cursing out Regis Pro Graves. And, uh, you know, he put on a good acting job but just say that fight ended the way it ended okay and you weren't happy with that ending you weren't really happy with the jake paul fight because he hit him with one shot the guy went down and he was on bad 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 legs when he got up his legs was gone his legs was like jello and a referee waved it off and you kind of disappointed with the outcome of the co-main event and the main event but at least you got a concert. You got Justin Bieber to perform. At least you got a chance to uh, listen to Snoop Dogg Dog and his expertise commentary, his way of do, doing commentary that's unlike any, any analyst in sports, which bring a unique, unique perspective to the sport of boxing. So you, 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 so you at least got some form of entertainment, and that's what Trill is doing. You got some form of entertainment. So overall, it was a solid card. Didn't uh, couldn't complain about it. Um, you know, Jake Paul is a cash cow boxing. You know, if those numbers are correct, according to him, he said 1.3 million. Who to say they threw counting? You know, when it's all said and done, it could be 1.5 million when it's all said and done. I heard a, a couple of channels said he did 1.5, but that's not correct. He said he did 1.3. Now, like I said, they, I don't know if they're through counting or they still got some more uh, outlets they got to finish getting the numbers from. And maybe when it's all said and done, it's going to do 1.5 million. Who knows? But as of not right now, 1.3 makes him the cash cow boxing. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you agree with me that Jake Paul, a YouTube sensation, is a cash cow boxing? Or do you think, like Chance Crawford thinks, that it's a circus? And uh, we should look at it as for what it is, a three-ring circus. Something that'll make Ringling Brothers and Ball and Bay the circus crowd proud of it. Make the soul circus proud. But if that, that's the case, again, they need to find the red nose. They need to put on the red nose and put on the yellow wig and put on the white makeup and put on the big boots, big shoes, big big extra wide shoes and get around there and try to walk the tie rope and get around there with the elephants and the lions and do the entertainment in front of the crowd if that's, that's the case because the guy sold 1.3 million pay-per-view buys, which makes him the, the cash cow boxing. Let me know your thoughts and subscribe to JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holla.